And this video could sink the career of a very distinguished naval officer, Captain Owen Honors, in a shower cap and starring in a role in a movie filled with gay slurs and simulated sex acts. Tony, your side's Lori Crouch continues coverage with a look at the impact this is likely going to have on his future with the Navy. Lori? Eric, I spoke with two judge advocate generals, or JAGs, today, and if you don't know, they are the equivalent of a civilian attorney. They expect Captain Honors to take a desk job while the Navy continues its investigation. Even Enterprise, Captain Owen Honors may have the starring role in this movie, but retired Navy JAG Captain David Price says the attention needs to be on the faces off the screen. We need to spread, spread the focus beyond just what Captain Honors may have done and also look at his seniors. What did they know? When did they know it? What action did they take? The Navy took action today, relieving Honors as commanding officer of the USS Enterprise. Grover Baxley believes Honors will sit out the investigation behind a desk while his fate is decided. More realistically, he's looking at uh, possibly being forced to retire. Um, and, and if not a voluntary retirement, they could potentially take him to what's called a board of inquiry, where he'd have to uh, show cause for continued naval service. Both men say he could lose rank in retirement, but they hope this movie doesn't close the curtain entirely on future films. These morale boosting movies have, you know, been around for a long time, and and uh, hopefully they'll continue to be around because they are, uh, you know, good for the troops in general. But uh, it's it's the content of this particular one that's obviously causing causing problems. Now, while the command has the option to take punitive action, both men believe that won't happen. Lori Crouch, ten on your side. And the Enterprise will deploy as scheduled in a couple of weeks with Captain D. Mewborn at the helm.